Hello friends and welcome to this edition of Spiritual Thinking. The Bible says that in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. And so today we're going to focus on the matter of brave and strong. How it is that God wants us to be brave and strong in the matters that we face, the issues or whatever that we have to face from day to day. Let's open this healing service with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Yes, friends, it's true that in quietness and in confidence, shall be our strength that we must be strong and brave, brave and strong. This is what we're dealing with today, the matter that we must be brave and strong. Let's have a few, few readings on this matter. Brave and strong. Be brave and strong, although you may encounter a gigantic situation which scares and fills you with frustration that brings tears of lamentation, still you can verily overcome. Be brave and strong, though the changes that appear can inspire fear. Buck up yourself and smile, be of good cheer, victory is near. Be brave and strong, let not your weak heart faint in the day of adversity nor your feet falter as you go through the serpentine fire. With divine faith, it will take you higher. Be brave and strong to hang cool and tough, especially when the going is rough. It's yourself you must believe in and trust. Be brave and strong. Yes, indeed, friends. We indeed should be brave and strong. And here's a few readings from the scriptures concerning this matter. This is from Daniel. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. Wherefore, King Darius signed the writing and the decree. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being opened in the chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did aforetime. Now we continue. Then they came near and spake before the king concerning the king's decree. Hast thou not signed a decree? that every man that shall ask a petition of God, of any God or man within 30 days, save thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, The thing is true, according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. Then answered they and said before the king, That Daniel, which is of the children of the captivity of Judah, regardeth not thee, O king, nor a decree that thou hast signed, but maketh his petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, was sore displeased with himself, and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel, and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, whom thou serve continually, he will deliver thee. Well, this is a case where some wicked people uh, of the royal court, uh, having wanted to get rid of Daniel because Daniel was favored in the eyes of the king. As a matter of fact, Daniel was given uh, authority over all these presidents and all of these members of the court. So it was a palace coup uh, that they came and they caused the king to draw up some writings in order that they may uh, put Daniel in a, in a situation to get rid of him. 
But Daniel, when he heard about the writings that you shouldn't uh, serve God or any man for 30 days unless you be thrown in lion's den, he was brave. He continued with his praying to God three times a day in spite of the admonition that the king had signed that the wicked man had designed to throw him into the lion's den. Now we continue on. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, which thou serve continually, he will deliver thee. And a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet and with the signet of his lords, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Then said, Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and his sleep went for, from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O oh, Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions? Now, we all know that God is the strongest, the all strong, and completely strong. And Daniel here was strong and brave in facing what could have been the sure, his sure destruction by the mouths, the teeth of the lions. Okay, we continue. Then Daniel said unto the king, O king, live forever. My God have set his angel and have shut the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then the king was exceeding glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no matter of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his God. See, that can help you to bring, help you to be strong. That alone can help you, but he believed in his God because he believed in his God, which caused him to be have the strength and to have the courage to be brave, to face the lion's den without any fear of his demise.